Humans are the most successful and the most destructive predators on this planet. We kill and eat many of the world's animals every day, and we're able to do this despite being physically unimpressive. Humans are very soft and squidgy, and we don't possess sharp claws, sharp teeth, or strong jaws. We've gotten to where we are because of our intelligence, and our ability to use tools, make weapons, and build shelters. If we find ourselves in the wild without these things that have made us so successful, humans can be very vulnerable. In some cases, large predators will target humans as a food source, and this is a reminder that we are not untouchable. Although some apex predators will target humans, there is also a surprising number that won't. We have built very strange relationships with many of the world's creatures, some of these being apex predators. In this video I will be focusing on some of these apex predators and the relationships that we have with them, as I'll be going through three apex predators that don't hunt humans. To encounter our first species, you can travel to any ocean around the world, as I will be talking about the orcas. Now orcas are possibly the most impressive predators on this planet, and they are simply unrivaled in their natural habitat. Orcas are also known as killer whales, which can be quite a confusing name. These creatures actually belong to the oceanic dolphin family, but many members of this family, including the orca, are known as toothed whales. In fact, their common name was given to them by sailors, who observed them hunting other whales. Orcas are in fact the second most widespread animal in the world, only second to us humans. They can be found from the Arctic to the Antarctic, and have been able to adapt to all climates. They're so adaptable in fact that they don't just limit themselves to the world's oceans, as they're even known to swim up river to hunt fish. One specimen swam 100 miles up the Columbia River in Oregon, and this sort of behaviour has been seen in other parts of the world. One of the things that has helped orcas become so successful is the fact that they are very intelligent and have very large brains. They have the second largest brains of any marine mammal, second only to sperm whales. This large brain helps them to have impressive social, language, and echolocation abilities, and this in turn allows them to have very tight bonds with each other. It's thought that only elephants and higher primates have more complex social structures, and this is why many experts believe that it is inhumane to keep them in captivity. In the wild, these groups are mainly made out of a matriarch, her sons and daughters, and the descendants of her daughters. Males will mate with females from other pods, but then will eventually return to live with their mothers. Because this is such a tight family bond, it allows them to effectively work together, and there are very few predators that are more impressive. Orcas will feed on almost all aquatic animals, and different groups specialise on different animals. As orcas can be found all over the world, there are many differences between the different populations. These populations are split into different ecotypes, which are different populations with different diets, behaviours, and vocalisations. Some of these ecotypes specialise in hunting fish, and others specialise in hunting large mammals. Famously, one of these ecotypes around South Africa choose to hunt great white sharks. These are very impressive apex predators themselves, but even these large fish fear the orcas. They are known to disappear when orcas are around, and when orcas kill great white sharks, they tend to only feed on their nutrient-rich livers. In the Arctic regions, they famously target large mammals, and have very inventive ways of targeting them. Some will swim very close in synchronization, and create a wave to knock their prey off of ice sheets. Because orcas simply fear no creature, and also sometimes come into contact with humans, it is rather strange to think that no orca has hunted a human in the wild. Although this is a very interesting fact, there has been some close calls. Of course there has been attacks and deaths in captivity, but this is mainly due down to the poor treatment of the orcas, and it is unknown if they are purposely trying to kill their trainers. This may not have been the case for one killer whale though, because out of the four human fatalities caused by killer whales, one orca named Tilikum was responsible for three of these fatalities. In the wild there has also been some close calls, because as far back as the 1910s, orcas have been recorded trying to push humans into the water, and in some rare cases they tried to sink boats. In September 1972, a Californian surfer was reportedly bitten by a killer whale. This is one of the only well-documented instances of a wild orca biting a human, and although it's disputed whether he was bitten by a shark or an orca, his wound did require a hundred stitches. But this still leaves us with an interesting question of why orcas don't attack humans. They are more than capable of doing so, and it would require very little effort. Well, one possible reason why they might not do this is their intelligence. Orcas seem very fascinated with humans, and often spend a long time trying to work us out. These mammals are also capable of very complex emotions, and do feel grief to some extent. Famously, one orca carried her dead calf around for 17 days, as she was simply mourning the loss of her offspring. This makes orcas seem like very emotional creatures, and it may seem that they aren't just ruthless killing machines. Although we may seem very soft and squidgy, we are less nutritious than most of their prey. They often target animals with high fat and protein content, and we are relatively low in nutrients. Because we live on land we are also very bony, 
and it may not be worth it for these orcas to kill us. Despite the potential danger, sometimes humans do swim with orcas, and you could assume that this would be relatively safe. If you were to swim with the fish-eating orcas, you would be very safe, but this might not be the case if you were to swim with the mammal-eating orcas. So really there isn't one reason why orcas don't hunt humans, but there is really quite a few. Despite this, there could still be an incident in the future where one orca decides to take a bite. But for now I'm very happy that these creatures don't hunt humans, as we would simply stand no chance. But for our next group of animals we will be heading onto the land, as we have the wolves. Famously wolves are a very widespread species, and are also very effective predators. Instead of catching their prey with speed, they wear them down over a long time, and it is essentially their stamina that helps them catch their prey. This is a very similar strategy to the one that we once had, and throughout much of our existence, many human populations have lived alongside wolves. We first domesticated them around 130,000 years ago, and they are the reason that we have man's best friend today. But for many people, this animal's inclusion on this list is very confusing, because sometimes wolves do attack and kill humans. From 2002 to 2020, there were 489 confirmed wolf attacks, but surprisingly 380 of these were rabid attacks, and 42 were provoked defensive attacks. This leaves only 67 attacks that were thought to be predatory, which is still a relatively small number. Many of us live in areas with populations of wolves, and in most cases they are very shy and tend to leave humans alone. This is despite the fact that they could easily take down a human, and history has a few cases proving this. It's thought that because we have lived alongside wolves for so long, they have learned that we are potentially dangerous and shouldn't be messed with. Our stance is also another factor behind this, because as we are bipedal, we do not appear as a prey animal. Another reason is that we're simply not worth the effort. There are plenty of other prey animals that the wolf could hunt, and they wouldn't fight back as hard as we would. These other animals are also much larger than we are, and contain a lot more meat for the wolf to feed on. In most cases, when wolves attack humans, it's out of desperation, and although they can be very dangerous, they're yet another predator that tends to leave us alone. But for our next creature, we will be heading back into the oceans, as we have the leopard seal. Now following elephant seals and walruses, leopard seals are the third largest pinnipeds. They can reach lengths of up to 3.5 meters, and can weigh in at almost 600 kilograms. This large stature means that they can hunt very large prey, and they're known to target Ross seals, crab eater seals, and Weddell seals. But leopard seals have also proven to be very adaptable predators, and they're also known to hunt surprisingly small prey. You may notice that leopard seals have very strange teeth with some of them even looking like combs. They use these teeth almost in the same way that baleen whales filter their food, as they use them as a sieve to strain krill and fish from seawater. Possibly the leopard seal's most preferred prey is penguins. They have proven to be very effective at hunting this prey, and in some cases they even turn it into a game. They are known to play with their prey, sometimes letting it go and then catching it again. This may seem very cruel, but this also shows us that the leopard seal is also a very intelligent creature. Although it is not widely known, a leopard seal has killed at least one person. Back in 2003, a British biologist known as Kirsty Brown was killed by a leopard seal while snorkeling in Antarctica. The seal approached her and then dragged her down into the depths, and although she was brought back to the surface, the other biologists were unable to resuscitate her. This was the first and only recorded human fatality from a leopard seal, and just goes to show us that they can be deadly. As well as this very negative leopard seal encounter, there has also been very positive ones. Many wildlife cameramen have been in the water with these seals, and these predators tend to treat humans in a very strange way. Just like with the orcas, they seem to be fascinated with humans, and almost try to build a relationship with us. They have been recorded giving divers dead penguins, almost in a way to feed them, or teach them how to hunt. This is very strange behaviour, but yet again proves their intelligence. It seems that we are as fascinated in them as they are in us, and even though they could easily take down a human, and do take down prey as large as us, they are yet another apex predator that doesn't hunt humans. Of course there are many other creatures that could have made it on this list and if you know of any let me know down in the comments below but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these but until next time goodbye